10 and 0. Let's see what the practice has got in store for us today. And let's just capture here. Let's push this pawn. I'm not going to move that fast anymore now. So the reason we do that is so we can try and get the knight developed without this pawn bothering it. And if it does, ooh, shall we? Very tempting. Yeah, because he's got this. Could hit it with a small piece. Is it disheveling our pawn structure? Just hit it with the knight. It's got nothing behind it at the moment. It's looking for the bishop coming here. And we do have a bishop defending, or we can put a fork on both pieces. So it's going to lose a piece, it looks like. So we'll just push this pawn here. So you could see that they saw some sort of win, but it, the position doesn't look too good for them, I don't think. If he goes there, the pawn can take the queen. Queen moves, we take the bishop. And we can take with the pawn, and we're still going to be on the queen. Yep. Take. So we win a minor piece out of that. We're not getting the queen, obviously, but um, we'll see how it goes from there. The knight is protecting there. The bishop can attack the queen. Knight's protecting the pawn. Let's bring the bishop through, attacking the queen. Still looking, just... Just develop the bishop and go on castle. It's a bit of a frantic opening, but just because you win a minor piece doesn't mean you've won the game. We've proven that time and time again. Just keep with the basics, get my king to safety. Just make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. Let's castle. The worst thing to do as well is when you're actually up a piece or whatever, is to kind of secretly sit back and think ah oh, i've actually won this so i don't really need to focus anymore and you build this sort of false confidence that you know you're going to win the game so you don't have to put any effort in and that really needs to be knocked on the head bring the queen here looking to maybe attack the queen if need be let's just bring the queen here just keep it as simple as possible see if we can get it off and it's blocked that way So maybe the knight can come here and attack the queen. So we're being steady, just trying to do focus targeting. And they're blocking everything off now. Wow. <laughs> okay. So a queen could attack their queen, but then we lose the knight. So if we push the pawn up, to block that off maybe this comes here yeah so might be a bit method in the madness knight will take so definitely not overconfident we have attack we want to try and get their queen off the board if we can but we still want to have kind of have a half decent position so attacking 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 mm. if we take is is he going to get a two on one or does the knight come here and attack his knight pawn takes bishop takes knight takes the bishop or something 
we take, we're bringing his knight in. I don't really want his knight coming here, do I? I'm actually going to attack his knight first. So I do have the bishop defending here. And see if we can get some pieces off the board. Because they are fighting back. You know, some players will capitulate and do silly moves. This player looks like they're they're coming in for it. Let's take. Oh, we've got double bishops. So one of the rooks is gonna get mm. But the Queen is defending. It's just that it's overworking. Uh, yeah, it's overworking the Queen. One of the rooks is coming here. We can take this off. Then this pawn is a bit pressurized. This knight. Ooh, okay, okay. Don't panic, don't panic. Just let's deal with the here and now. The rook coming here. Take the knight. He takes back. Then we maybe have time to tempo win and move the bishop. Oh, they've not done that. All right. So the bishop could attack the queen, but the queen looks like it's going to be escaping. Gonna take the knight. So anyway, we're getting our queen across here for a check or some sort. I think I need to move the knight out of the way personally, because it's gonna be left there alone, and then I'm not gonna be able to defend it somehow. Queen, queen, queen. Could take this pawn with the queen, but like we said, the knight will get taken. So I'm gonna to have to move it. I have to move there a bit quick. So we could attack the queen with the queen. What happens there though is we can attack the queen. If he does take, we take. Pawn takes and the bishop can't take the pawn back. So do we just take the pawn first? But then if we take the pawn first, the queen gets taken. Ooh. Attack the queen this way. Queen just moves out of the way though, and it's just gonna skedaddle. Well, at least we're taking ourselves off of that awful pin from the bishop. Yeah, so he's escaped. It's attacking the bishop, could take the pawn. Queen's defending the bishop if they forget themselves. Bishop could take the pawn. They're moving a bit quick now. So am I falling for something here? Bring the rook, so attack the pawn. Get some sort of check on the king, queen, sorry. One of the rooks. Queen's got check on the king. Queen's coming in. All right, so we could come across. Maybe they're looking to just block off that check, but then obviously it does have that tempo to move the king and then get the rook here facing the queen. Well, what else is he targeting? Targeting this pawn maybe. So if the queen takes, queen takes, so he gets a pawn. I'm gonna hit the queen, see what, oh, they're actually on the bishop. Oh, for crying out loud, narration mode again. He's not actually taking the bishop. Oh, we could have just taken that then. That is so slight. I hate narration mode. You're just talk, telling your own story and you just get tunnel vision on what you want to do. Shocking, man. Shocking. Right, so he's on a white square. He's not attacking any other piece apart from that. But he can't move the queen now to attack the bishop. Shoosh. Hate narration mode. Oh, what is this now? So now he's looking to get the bishop off the board. So can we attack his bishop? Oh, but he gets a rook as well, doesn't he? Attack his rook, no. 
So if we come and attack the bishop, if the bishop takes, we take his queen. The pawn takes and he's on both of our rooks. So it looks like he's getting more for his money there. So he is attacking the rook. Rook is not coming here because we can come here to attack the bishop. But then he can take our bishop, but then we're going to be in front of his king. Okay, let's do that. So, oh. Hit the queen. Then hit the bishop. Or hit the bishop first. Hit the bishop first. I think he's still going to go for this, isn't he? So got to check on our king. Got a four. No. So I think I've uglified this. There's probably easier ways of dealing with it rather than losing pieces. I mean, the knight could have even come here as well. Attacking the queen. So the queen's not moving this time to take the bishop. And looks like they've left the game. 